Good morning, everyone. Welcome back once again to the channel. In as much as I know some good number of you guys are not happy with me and also not happy with the performance for the past three days on the channel, to be honest, I'm doing my best. That is just it. And this national team has been really, really disappointing us. Understand? They have been really, really disappointing us. And I know we are not happy about it that since the international break, we've not recorded a single win for the past three days and it's something i'm not proud of but i believe this is jb predict family we are used to winnings back to back winnings winning big odds winning small odds we are used to it but when we see this kind of thing happens we just have to pick up the pieces and keep on moving forward the football will soon resume fully in which is next weekend we have the champions league europa league conference league premier league bundesliga la liga all of them will be available but now as we have the national team that. 50% they perform well, 50% they don't perform well. We just have to manage it and see how we get or see what we get at the end of or before the end of the international break. Let us see how it's going to be. And I believe that we are going to at least get our first win today. I have that confidence that we are going to have our first win today. I know for the past three days, it has not been funny. Craziness everywhere from the national teams. But we are going to definitely bounce back. Before the break came, we had 10 odds winning from the normal Premier League and Bundesliga. Games has been going well. The break has come now. Things just stunned south. But we are going to definitely bounce back. Just keep on supporting the channel. Keep on showing love and support. Understand? I'm doing my best. Guys, truth be told, I am doing my best. I know my best is not good enough, but I will do better than my best. These national teams are just breaking our hearts yesterday would have won but things went awkward so guys that is by the way i believe we are going to smile today so today i have just two sleeps sleep one is four odds sleep two is a long running sleep that starts today eight and end on the 10th of september so i guess a three days long running sleep six odds the sleep two that's a long running sleep is just six odds understand and one other advice i will give to you if you don't like the national team games just let it go wait till football resumes fully so guys our sleep one is four odds and our sleep two is six odds and before i talk about it if you are new to the channel if it's the first time coming across jb predict do ensure you are hitting the subscribe button turn on your bell notification so you'll be notified whenever a video is being uploaded and as you're watching this video right now ensure you are hitting the like button don't stop supporting the channel keep on showing love and support to the channel we just achieved a very huge milestone of a hundred thousand subscribers like it's impressive the story has been sweet has been bitter but at the end of the day look at where we are now a hundred thousand subscribers so let's keep on supporting the channel in good times and in bad times so ensure you're liking the video and subscribing if it's your first time if you want to join my telegram, the link is pinned in the comment section for more free football predictions. Also, download the SofaScore app. That app helps you for statistics and football analysis. When you want to make your own predictions, that app is really, really helpful. So go to my comment section, click on the second link there, is to download the SofaScore app and show you are downloading the app. So guys, let's dive into the business of today. We have our sleep one just for today. Only one sleep for today, but the second sleep runs from today and ends on the 10th of September. So our sleep one, we have five games, four odds. Five games, four odds. The first game is between Denmark versus Serbia. We have the predictions to be Denmark to win or draw and the total goals to be under 4.5. Regarding this under 4.5, and what we've noticed that if we give a selection with one X and under 4.5, at least the team manages to score at least two goes and above so rather than maybe you don't like the under market you can go with Denmark to win or draw and over 1.5 it's going to be kind of risky because these national teams can be crazy today they may score goals tomorrow they'll go barring 0-0 zero, zero. so it's very very crazy and unpredictable but if you're not a fan of the under market you can go for the over 1.5 so the first game here is Denmark versus Serbia Denmark to win or draw and the total goes to be under 4.5 at 1.32 odd. The second game also we have Switzerland versus Spain. We have Spain to win or draw and the total goes also to be under 
at 1.330. Remember last three days ago, Spain played 0-0 draw with Serbia, and the predictions was Spain to win or draw and under 4.5. So you can see how crazy it can be. So I'm expecting, even though anything will happen in this game, the goals will not be much. But I believe Spain are the better side here. Switzerland versus Spain. Spain to win or draw and under 4.5 at 1.33 odd. Portugal versus Scotland. We have Portugal to win at full time and the total goals to be over 1.5 goals at 1.45 odd. Portugal to win and the total goals to be over 1.5 at 1.45 odd. I am expecting Portugal to win this game at least 2-0 because Ronaldo is looking for more goals. So I believe he should be scoring in this match today. So Portugal to win and the total goals to be over 1.5. We have the last set of games to be Sweden versus Estonia. We have Sweden to score over 1.5 goals at 1.22 odd. Two players that has a very good chance of scoring in this game today between Sweden and Estonia is Isak and Jokores. Victor Jokores of Sporting and Isak of Newcastle. So, the both of them has a very good chance of scoring in this game today. And finally, Gibraltar versus Leicester. We have Gibraltar to win or draw at full time at 1.26 odd. So, five games, four odds. All of them are based on the UEFA Nations League and I wish us all the best. In summary, we have Denmark to win or draw and under 4.5, Spain to win or draw and under 4.5, Portugal to win and over 1.5, Sweden to score over 1.5 goals and finally Gibraltar to win or draw. Five games, four out and I believe we are going to achieve it today. Now for the long running sleep. Eight games, six odd. Eight games, six odds. From today, 8th of September to 10th of September. So we have the first two games. We have only two games for today, 8th, in which is Switzerland versus Spain. We have Spain to win or draw at 1.22 odd. We have Portugal versus Scotland. Portugal to win at full time at 1.23 odd. So these are the only two games for today. For on the 9th of September, we have France versus Belgium. We have two goals ahead handicap to Belgium at 1.36 odd. Two goals ahead handicap to Belgium at 1.36 odd. Israel versus Italy. This is also for the 9th of September. Italy to win at full time at 1.27 odd. We have um, Montenegro versus Wales. We have Wales to win or draw at full time also at 1.39 odd. And the last game for the 9th of September is Turkey versus Iceland. We have Turkey to win or draw at full time at 1.20 odd. So the last two games for the 10th of September is between England and Finland. We have England to win at full time at 1.20 odd. And finally, Republic of Ireland versus Greece. We are giving two goals ahead handicap to Greece at 1.15 odd. So the game starts from the 8th of September in which is today and end on the 10th of September. So I believe we are going to hit the six odds. God helping us. So in summary, Spain to win or draw, Portugal to win, two goals ahead handicap to Belgium, Italy to win, Wales to win or draw, Turkey to win or draw, England to win at full time, and finally two goals ahead handicap to Greece. Eight games, six odds. I wish us all the best and I wish us success. I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Remember, if you don't like the national team games, you can let it slide. You wait patiently. Once the football resumes, we go back to business. So guys, remember to stick what you can afford to lose. You understand? This is football and anything is bound to happen. I will pray for success today. I will pray we record our first win today. It will be very beautiful to have our first international break win to be four odds. You understand? It's going to be amazing. So guys, I've come to the end of today's video. Have a blessed and wonderful day. And bye for now.